All right, I'm starting the teardown of my 300 uh, SD. It's a 1980 OM 617. These uh, these ones don't have the uh, EGR stuff on them. But uh, this engine um, came out of that car, and uh, I've already swapped a new engine into it. What happened is I was changing the oil one day and uh, I was tightening down the nuts on top and little these are studs you can see I've got a bolt in there now but I didn't notice that the stud was actually pulling out uh, and the cap was not tightening so in other words as I was tightening this the stud was coming up um, it looked tight to me I wasn't paying attention and went out and drove around town and all the oil blew out of the cap and then I was at a red light I looked down and noticed the engine was hot and then it just shut off, seized up. And uh, metal in the uh, oil pan. So I actually was able to uh, um, go run up to the house because it was just down the street and put some, uh, get some more oil, put it in it, drive it back to the house, drain the oil filter, changed it all, filled it back up and uh, drove it over to a shop had them check at it, check it out. It was running extremely rough when I took it to the shop. They were like, yeah, man, we changed the oil again and tried to flush it. There was definitely oil or metal in the oil pan. So I drove it home, parked it. Um, it's crazy, it, it was still running. A couple of oil changes, flushed it out. It, I mean, it was, still, it, was, it, it was vibrating pretty bad though. And uh, so I'm gonna find a crank, replace the bearings, all that. Um, so for starters, since this is part one, um, this has been sitting actually, it was in my, um, it was in my, what's up everybody, it was in my driveway for like four years under a tarp, um, just sitting there. And this winter I had the driveway repaved so I had to move everything. So I was like, alright, time to put it on the hoist and uh, rebuild this thing. Um, so all I've done is taken off the flywheel and uh, I've heard that the flywheel might be balanced to the crank so when I took the bolts out I just sprayed some white spray paint on the flywheel through that bolt hole and uh, just to mark where it was and uh, there we go see I sprayed it um, through that hole so if it needs to go back on but anyway I'm gonna try to rebuild this thing and uh, I'll just post some videos as I go along right now I'm, the goal is just tonight is to get it on the engine stand and then I'm gonna move it over here throw out some of these old racing tires and it's gonna sit right there in the corner and that's where I'm gonna rebuild it and here be my workbench anyway thanks for watching and I'll uh, post updates over the next I don't know, six months to a year, however long it takes me to finish this up.